In our previous video, we showed you how to prepare Kamut hot cereal, which can be used in breakfast and lunch meals. So if you would like to learn how to prepare Kamut hot cereal, check out my video so you can use it along with this item today, which will go along with sauteed vegetables. So in this case, the Kamut hot cereal is a substitute for grits in this video. If you are interested in preparing this item, which is less than 5 minutes, continue watching. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel as yet, consider subscribing so you can learn more about health conscious diets and other cooking related videos. As you see here, I have decided to fast forward in order to move faster. But if you'd rather me do a live video individually, cutting up each vegetable, let me know in the comment section below. We're going to start off by cutting our butternut squash, cutting them into chunks or slices. If you didn't know, ensure to have a sharp knife and a peeler because this is one of the hardest solid vegetables in my pot. Next, let's cut up the white onions, julienne style, very thin. Next, bell peppers in thin slices as well then we're gonna add in some cabbage in julienne style let's add a little bit more next let's add our carrots and we're gonna peel them and cut them into thin slices let us now slice our mushrooms not too thin nor thick now let us mix to see how it looks we want all vegetables to be even lastly let us cut up the sweet potato yams in chunks. You will have to determine how much vegetables you will need based on how much you are cooking for, but just make sure all veggies are even. We want it to get hot at first and then turn it down and then add our vegetables and we'll be, what else we're gonna add. So I have a garlic press, but if you don't, you can always slice up your garlic and mash it or mince it. Whatever you have, work with it. All right, so I'm just gonna mince it for now. See that garlic just minced there? I cut that and then I'm going to take this out there. Okay, so garlic is ready and I can smell the pot. The pot is hot. So I have some olive oil here that I'm going to be using and I have some thigh coconut oil which gives it a nice coconut flavor. So the pot is hot and then I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Yes, it is hot. And then I'm going to add a little bit of vegetables. And though I prepared this big batch of, for me I like to just pick up my hand and that helps me to move faster. So this is the, the amount that I will be preparing in here. Okay. So I'm gonna turn my stove back on low. And then I'm going to add some thyme. But this is dry. Okay, to give it a little flavor. Okay. And it all depends on the amount of vegetables that you are preparing for you to know how much thyme and how much garlic you should use. So you could use bottled garlic, whichever, but the fresh is always the best. It gives the food taste. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get my spoon and I'm going to mix it. Start there, I'm gonna try. And if you see that it needs a little bit more oil, you can always add it. So if you don't want it to be too much, I'm gonna add some of my coconut thigh, coconut flavor. Okay, which gives the, the vegetables a nice moist looking vegetables are being dry. Now you want it to be as moist as possible. Alright, so we see that everything is cooking down. It looks very, very nice as you can see. Get that to the top. Okay, so I'm gonna add some of my coconut thigh, coconut flavor. 
I'm going to add a little bit of sea salt, okay? And a little bit of dry basil as a finishing touch. It gives it the perfect taste. Very, very perfect. Okay? Add some sea salt. And then we want to put our lid on now. So we're going to put it on low for about a minute. And we're going to get our kale ready. So it's been about two minutes. And as you can see, the vegetables are nice and cooked. Well done. Not soft and not too hard. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of tomatoes. Why I add a little bit of tomatoes is because it gives it a nice moist taste. So I'll just, uh, you can chop them julienne and slice it or in chunks. So in this case, I'm just going to, I think I should cut it, yes, so I'm going to cut it in four. I'm going to go ahead and add them to the pot. It always gives it that juicy flavor. And then let me take some cake off. Got some greens in there. I'm going to add, always want to add your kale last. And you can cut it off however you want. I just slice them in between there. Make sure that they are cut evenly. Add them to the pot. I'm going to mix. Go ahead and mix now. As you can see, all of that flavor is in there. Now we're going to taste it as soon as the kale dissolves. I need to taste it. So we want to turn our stove on because it's actually finished. We don't want the heat to be on because it will finish soft and mushy. vegetables in here so we know that once that is seasoned well seasoned all vegetables are seasoned in this pot okay so let me go ahead and taste the mushroom all right mm -hmm. and the butternut squash right here mm. Love so that's the overall look of the vegetables that will be served with the canoe brick so let's go ahead and plate so that you can see that outcome. So this here is the Kamut Heart cereal that we prepared in our previous video. So like I said, I'll put that in the description link below. And so I already had it heated. You can eat it in your oven, whichever is your preference, um, your microwave. Okay, but this is already heated and it was already prepared. So what I would normally do is just measure it out so that it can last for a long period of time. So you can measure it however you want to measure it. So as you can see, we're putting it in a portion container, portion spoon. Okay, and we're going to add that to our plate. Take this little bit out there. And I'm going to now get my vegetables and I'm going to drizzle that over there. Okay, this is your vegetables here. Very nice. Yes, let's go on and taste it. Mm. Yep, this is it. Mm -hmm. Nice. 
nice. This can be consumed as a breakfast or a lunch meal. Mm -hmm. So guys, thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. And if you haven't subscribed as yet, consider subscribing so that you can learn how to prepare vegan, vegetarian, alkaline, vegan, and gluten-free meals. My name is Regina Alvina, and we help you to win in the kitchen. See you later. Bye.